Thanks for inviting us in. It's 11 o'clock and we want to begin tonight with an Indianapolis man who told us he was ripped off after a person on Facebook Marketplace gave him counterfeit cash and he told us he isn't alone. Our Chase Hal talked with a man who got scammed and police about how to protect yourself from this kind of crime. Security video from Adam Bauman's home Sunday night shows the whole transaction go down. You can see a black Mercedes pull up and Bauman walk up to the car with the jewelry he was selling. Kind of leaned down in the car and uh, he was like, okay, you know, well, here's your money. And he started counting them, 100, 50, 200. Then as he's walking away, he says the supposed cash he was holding felt funny. As I got in the house and turned the light on, I seen the first two bills had the same exact serial numbers on it, which I knew then was an issue. That was a problem. Bauman says that's when he called police. There's just something in my head saying that uh, I needed to check it. Earl Townsend lives in Speedway and says the same thing happened to him on Friday by the same people that scammed Bauman. I had a uh, counterfeit pen in my pocket and as I walked back towards the door, I thought to stop for a second, check it. Once I checked it, uh, they all came back fake. Both men say they were messaging with a Facebook user with the name Jaslyn Price. But when it came to picking up the items, she informed me that her fiance was going to come pick it up. Said they'd, it was for their brother that he'd be here shortly. While someone with IMPD wasn't available for an interview, they sent over some best practices when selling or buying something online, like verifying the seller's identity and opting to use credit cards or apps like Venmo, Cash App, or Zelle when making or taking payments. And while the two may be out hundreds of dollars, they're walking away with a valuable lesson. Looking back to it, it would be checking the money before I handed over the system, the game system. If I had to do it again, I would I would definitely have a, a, a stronger face to face with them, you know, uh, and just be cautious of everything right now. While well, I did reach out to IMPD for an interview and for information when it comes to the counterfeit cash, they did not confirm if they were investigating these cases. Reporting in Indianapolis, Chase Howell, 13 News.